architecture evolved from data warehousing architecture to data lake architecture then lambda then kappa and then finally medallion architecture right so let's talk about the data lake architecture how how the platform looked after evolving it from the data warehouses so uh, this is how a data lake architecture looked now where we have data is stored in the data lake which is uh, if you are working on the hadoop platform then it is hdfs if you are working on the cloud platform you are building your data lake architecture on the cloud platform then it could be amazon s3 or azure blob or google cloud so storage is offered by uh, these options you have you will be using one of it to build your data lake platform and then on top of it for doing all the data transformation data processing and all that we currently use two options hive and apache spark if you are using on premise you are building on premise data lake architecture most likely you will be using hive and spark or both you have both the options but if you are going on to the cloud platform then most likely spark is the ruler there hive goes is very tiny but you have both the options uh, they are also on the cloud platform also hive and spark both exist but mostly uh, on the cloud platform it is driven by spark we still keep data warehouse there uh, a tiny data warehouse or a relational database there for offering jdbc odbc connectivity for the data consumers uh, so this is where we represent data consumers they might be building bi business intelligence systems they might be building reports they might be doing some data science activity or machine learning activity so your data lake is like this in the center right so in the data lake architecture you have a storage you have a processing capability and then you have relational databases also for supporting some of the data consumption uh, requirements uh, some of the data consumption requirements are supported directly from the data lake and this supports all three types of data uh, semi -stru structured semi structured and unstructured so this is how data lake architecture is currently uh, looks like we will go deeper into it but from technology in, uh, point of view data ingestion these are the options there are many more i have listed some popular ones for data storage in your data lake these are the options for data processing these are the options there are others but i have listed very few and for data consumption uh, these are the types of uh, interfaces supported for data consumption you can build a search index you can offer it through jdbc odbc connectivity you can offer file download you can offer rest api or uh, you can support uh, data scientists so this that's how data lake architecture looks